Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is again a little bit different. One thing I don't really know about myself is much about my family in general. I know that most of my mum's side of the family grew up in the same sort of area where I live now and my dad originally came from Ireland but apart from that I don't really know much so that is why I was so, so excited when Living DNA got in touch with me and asked if I would like to do a DNA test with them which will show where my family is more from. So this was the kit I got sent first and basically all I had to do was take a swab of the inside of your cheek and send that back to them. I did this about two months ago and maybe just a little bit less. Obviously it takes time it has to go through labs and things like that. So the idea of this is it shows you where your family has come from and, and it goes back to 10 generations. So it can show around the world and it will also go more in depth, show maybe a certain area in that country that your ancestors have come from. So I got my results and I thought I would share them with you as I thought it would be really exciting. I haven't looked at them yet so I have no idea what they say. And honestly, I'm just expecting British and Irish. Like I said, I don't really know that much more about my family. It's not something I've ever really asked. But I'm also really interested. And also, it is all online, apart from that first initial kit. You get your results online and you simply log in and you're given everything. So, I've just logged in, it says your story begins. It says, as you explore your results, you will understand not only where your genetic ancestry originates, also see just how closely you're all connected. It says revealed within your DNA are the great migrations your ancestors took which is part of your genetic code and then it is split into three different types of DNA. So family ancestry is the main bit that shows you where your family is from. It says this part of the test looks at your ancestors both in recent times approximately 10 gen generations so it goes back that far as well as allowing you to look at your ancestry at different points in history and basically you see what you share in common with a lot of other people. And then also you get your mother line ancestry, explores your direct maternal ancestry from your mother all the way back to Africa. And then obviously if you're a male you can also get your father line which is the exact same thing but on your father's side. Obviously I don't get that one. And then you get shown this little picture here. which is me, I guess, and the dots show DNA, well, to represent DNA. And my overview is I am 99% British and Irish, which I knew, unless that 1% is from Europe, North and West. I'm not very good at geography, so I'm not entirely sure where that is. But also, you can explore in full. So, your family ancestry is also called your autosomal DNA. I think I've said that right. I may have said that wrong. Uh, it's also referred to if your ethnic or DNA mix. So basically your DNA is obviously it's passed down through gen oh, it's passed down through generations and it what make it's what makes you you. It's very, very unique. So even if my sister did it, it would be different again, I guess. Well, to an amount because your DNA is completely individual. And how living DNA do this is they compare my DNA to thousands and thousands of other people's to see how they link up and gives it a greater refinement, I guess is the right word. It also shows a little map here which shows where I am from. Obviously the green is the most bit which is England and Ireland and it shows the different regions and then the blue is the other 1% which is from Europe. So from that map you can also go down into sub-regions which shows basically where in each country, like the region your family is originated from. So for mine, I have, I'm 29.7% from Northwest England, which is what I completely get because that's where I live now. It's where all my mum's side of the family grew up, as far as I know. So that does not surprise me. I also 13.6% from South Yorkshire. 12.8% Northwest Scotland, which is not something I ever knew. I don't know any family who's from Scotland that I know of, but I'm guessing it's there somewhere. 
8.2% is from East Anglia, 7.4% um, is Aberdeenshire, 7.3% is Central England, 4.8% is Cornwall, 4.8% is Ireland, which is a lot, lot lower than I was expecting. So maybe I have more, more of my family is actually from Scotland than Ireland, even though I know my dad and his parents were both Irish. So I was expecting that to be a lot higher. So I don't know, I'm kind of confused and kind of more interested now to see where I'm actually from. As I thought Ireland would be like the main thing, to be honest. Also, 4.3% is South Wales border, 1.8% South Wales, 1.8% Devon, 1.3% Southern England, 1.1% is South West Scotland and Northern Ireland, so there's a bit more Irish there. And then the 1% that is from Europe is actually from France. I, I've never even heard anyone mention anything about France in my family. I don't even think they've even been to visit. I don't remember anyone saying they've ever been. So France is something that I was definitely not expecting. But there again, I don't really know what I was expecting. But yeah, France. So maybe I should take a trip to France. I've never been. I'd love to go. So maybe that's where my next holiday should be. But yeah, I love how it shows all the different colours. And also it shows them on the map down below and then they also give you your motherland ancestry show it so it shows um your mother's side of the family all the way back to africa and it also gives you two different groups so your mother line allows you to trace back your direct maternal line until the point around 200,000 years ago when there appears to be a common dna signature which is really interesting because it's actually going back like 200,000 years and it also gives you the possibility to find out migration routes your ancient ancestors could have taken so it also shows another little picture then it says your hap hapalo group i'm not quite sure what that is is v and my subclade is v2 and then it says a coverage map which i guess shows where my mother line originated from or has migrated through so 42 percent is sami i'm not quite sure where that is 12 percent is basque 10 percent is mari and then there's a lot of other countries listed in this like spain sweden ukraine um austria italy so it says my haplo group v is now most a high frequency along the Sami people living, living in northern Scandinavia and nevertheless is detected across a widespread Europe. So basically European, which is kind of expected because I do live in England. So it also shows a migration map and this is what my family would have taken like thousands and thousands of years ago that has been passed down through all these years and that looks like this which as you can see is covering quite a lot of Europe you also get given so much more information like there's also a polygenic tree I'm not quite sure what that means obviously on their website Living DNA there is a help section which will show you well tell you exactly what all of this means because some of it I really don't understand so I'm definitely going to have to sit down and properly like read into it so I understand where I'm from because like I said I don't really know that much about my family in general and obviously as Living DNA are a new company my results could differ slightly as more and more people do their DNA tests so like the percentage and things like that could change ever so slightly obviously it's not going to be a massive lot but yeah, that's just one thing to know if you do yours. So if you would like to also do a DNA test with Living DNA, I will leave all the links down below for you. But yeah, this has been a really interesting thing for me to do. Like I said, I don't know much about my family, but it's definitely made me want to know more. Like, where has that 1% from France come from? And like Scotland?
Scotland as well. I mean, it's not somewhere I ever really thought about. Obviously, I own New Northwest England, which is where I live now, and Ireland from my dad's side. But yeah, it's definitely made me want to know more, like, how have all these different places come into play? And um, yeah. But like I said, I'm not surprised that it's 99% British and Irish. That is no shock whatsoever. I sort of already knew that when I was doing the test. But yeah, I have actually really, really enjoyed getting this and just knowing more, a little bit more about me. And I hope you've liked getting to know a little bit more about me as well. And also, if any of you have ever done a DNA test or you can just know about your family, I would love to know. I love to know where people are from and things like that. I'm a little bit nosy, but it's harmless. And like I said, I will leave the link down below if any of you would like to have a go at this. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!